We've moved quite a bit on our anchor alarm, so we're gonna go take out our stern tie, see if it'll stop us. It must be dragging. I don't like how close we are to these rocks. Welcome to Sailing Instead, our story in two words. We are Jenna and Charlie, and together we are chasing our wildest dream, inspired by our first date, sailing on a lake in our home province of Alberta. With a new shared interest and wanderlust building, we decided now was the time to pursue an alternative lifestyle. We'd become full-time cruisers, living and traveling on our sailboat. We found this rundown 30-foot sailboat from 1975, and for almost two years, we worked tirelessly to make it our new tiny floating home. After 611 days and two more Canadian winters, we decided no more waiting. We would start our voyage and continue fixing the boat on the go. Come aboard and share in our adventure as we document everything along the way. The highs, the lows, and everything in between. Looking good, looking good. We're gonna pull up right on the end here. Right around the corner and dock right here. We're gonna have to back up. Babe, I need you to come back here and throw me that black rope. Nice work, baby. That's my babe. It's our first time at a fuel dock. That's how it works. And then here's go. Nice work, baby. Too far Crazy how much it is. I wonder if that one must have had a little fuel in it. It just didn't quite get 20 liters. 40 bucks. Good old British Columbia. How are we going to get out of here, do you know? Motor forward and do a big circle. Turn that room? Oh, yeah. Feel the boat balance off? Yeah. Instead of pumping the old oil right now, I'm gonna put a new oil. Start her up. You okay? Give her a little gas. I don't seem to get too seasick when I'm outside. But uh, once I have to crawl into the bilge, I lose sort of that reference. Yeah, looks like coffee's about done. Uh, how's our speed? Five. Okay. I lose that sort of reference. I uh, start to feel pretty nauseous. So throwing on some C bands. See how they work. 
How you doing, babe? Doing good. Doing good? Doing good. Babe's uh, smiling and laughing at me because I'm feeling ill. Seasick, they call it. But an old salt like me is never too ill. Luckily I wrapped the chain around the cleat, so that kept it from deploying. But we used just a safety, a short bungee here to safety out our anchor. And it's gone. And it's gone. So So there's our replacement for now. Uh, last thing we want is our anchor to drop while we're traveling. Can't imagine what kind of chaos that would cause. So. All good, my love? Seasick. One so far. CJ Seasick. Georgia Strait. Got me. It's so funny, like anytime we're anywhere sitting still, Jenna feels unwell. <laughs> but once we start moving, she feels great and I feel unwell. So there's always at least one of us to take care of the other. And she just kissed me after I threw it up. Find yourselves a girl that will kiss you after you're seasick. That's love. All right, baby doll. I can put a ginger ale in a cup. Sure, that would be great. Love that girl. Well, C bands. Feeling pretty rough. What's the first thing you're gonna do when we get on anchor? Probably put some DJs on. DJs and diesel heaters. Yeah. A little warm up pack. What do you think, babe? I think we made the right choice. I think so. Whoever's first to guess what it is makes dinner. A log. That's it? Just a boring old log? Yeah, I'm sure cook 
No, you guessed it first. You're cooking dinner, I said. Yes! See? We made it. Almost. That's our first crossing, you know? Our first passage. No, we did one with the old... Oh, yeah, we did the Georgia Strait across. That's right. That's our second crossing. Yeah. Wow! We haven't done the ocean. <laughs> this one, this time, I threw up five, six times. Six times in six hours. It's about par for the course. We like to stand up here and steer with our feet. Oh. We're actually headed over here, but there is a reef underwater called Cottom Reef. So according to Navionics, we can't just go straight down. We're gonna go out and around. There's a boy or a marker. There's a boy or a marker for this area that marks safe passage around the reef. So we're gonna make sure to stay seaward of that marker. We're going to uh, cruise around it and then turn back south into this little bay here and see if we can find good holding for the night. First time anchoring with our depth finder working, so it should be fairly easy to find a good depth and get out the proper scope without too much guesswork. Sorry, it's a clutter zone up there. That seems like a nice spot to sit though, yeah. Just set us on a slight reverse. I'm gonna go dump the anchor. What's our depth? Can you tell? 64. What should I do? Uh, I don't have 71 for 64. Okay, so let's go. Backwards, just like that. Give it, a little, give it a little gas. I'm a little worried about our swinging radius. So close to shore. Yeah, this is a little different. Well, let's set it. We'll go do an anchor alarm and have a look. I'm just trying to get the scope out, which is our whole road, right? 200 feet, 5 to 1 on a 40 foot anchorage. That's it. You did it. Why don't you come look? You anchored. So close to the Yeah. So can you tell me where you see the depth? Like you click on it. Yeah, it so six, six, this line mm -hmm. is 6.6 .6 feet. Mm -hmm. And then this line that we're close to is 16.4 feet. We made it. <laughs> Look at some of the houses. I know. These people are probably going to be out on their beach tomorrow being like, hey, you bums, get out of our bay. Like cute. Yeah, they're pretty incredible, aren't they? Look at how calm it is. Wow. Who's not seasick anymore? I am not seasick anymore. So the fun thing about cruising is you have kind of two modes. You have travel mode and then you have non-travel mode and every time you decide to do one or the other you have to switch back and forth so everything in the boat gets kind of tucked away hunkered down and ready to roll we didn't eat lunch we need to make some food we need to set an anchor alarm we need to uh, get the anchor light on 
We try to save all the amps now that we're here, not running the motor. We will have to run the motor to keep things afloat, but right now we don't need all the extras. There we go. It's looking better already. Well, at the end of a long day of travel, we forgot to set a GPS point for our anchor. So it's just out there somewhere. Shoot. So stupid. I forgot we have to do that. It was uh, a bit of a tricky marina to get into, and then we had to go to a fuel dock, and like this stuff's all new to us, so we're still anxious about a lot of it. But we just crushed it. We just crushed it today. We only made one little scratch on our boat. Yeah, Nuddle, Nuddle Bay, I'll send it to you. Okay, love you. Love you too. Good night. Love you, Jenna. Bye, Donna. Bye, honey. Talk to you tomorrow. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night. You see him? To the left a little bit. Oh. Quick, quick, quick. They're moving. Oh, hello there. in front of us, but they're hard to see with the wide-angle lens. Look at how many of them there are. Not bad for being out of bed for six minutes. Seven and thirty. Just got our motor started to make some coffee and breakfast. Charge up the batteries for the day. We've also got a motor mount that uh, loosened up while we were traveling. Charlie's seasick. I'm starting to feel a little ill myself. It's pretty hairy out there. It's not even that hairy yet. So we're not feeling too good. Here's the cappy down here. How are you feeling? Yeah. It's gonna be like this for a few days probably. Just learned this little tip from our uh, quick tips book, instant handbook. Create a little pocket guide with short chapters and lots of pictures for on the go. We're gonna try to orient our boat with the spring line off the back quarter. See if we can point the bow into the swell and uh, see if that helps with some of the rolly rolliness of this anchorage. My seasickness. My two days of seasickness. That Jenna's been taking care of me. I've just been laying around, puking up ginger taps and gravel. So let's see if we can make a bit of a change for tonight. And then we'll be trying to move somewhere else tomorrow. We've got the wind coming from the bow, but then our swell's coming from, you can see just little swell lines. And it's not much, but it's enough that we're bobbing around. So we're just gonna try to spin the boat into the waves using some extra lines. Essentially what we've done is created a bridle on the starboard side. We've still got our main anchor point off the bow roller. I've got the bridle set up from a starboard stern cleat down to our anchor road. And then the anchor road is still coming off the bow. So you can see it's actually turned the boat so that the bow is facing almost out to seaward. We want it to turn a little more. So far it seems to be working. So even though we've lost some wind, this uh, anchor bridle that we've built is holding us a little bit more out to the swell see now we're bopping up and down more than side to side 
and there's not a huge amount of swell coming into the bay but when you're side to side it can be pretty uncomfortable We've moved quite a bit on our anchor alarm, so we're gonna go take out our stern tie, see if it'll stop us. It must be dragging. Like how close we are to these rocks. 